seven of the season is when it seemed the spirit of number seven was in the air. As we all know, uh, the audience knows he passed away this past off season in, a year ago in January, suddenly. But I think JJ served uh, to remind us, I believe, of the potential that's within all of us, but also how fragile life is and that uh, it is not uh, guaranteed or promised to any of us beyond the moment that we're currently living. With both teams in control of their own destiny, the intensity was high from the beginning. Hey, right now we start to have a little fun. Let's go. Now it's time to have some fun, baby. Hey, that's not gonna work. House party on three. One, two, three. House party. The Hornets came out fighting from the opening kickoff as Brandon Hudson returned a kick deep into Bears territory. And he's following him, still untouched, got past the 40. Breaks out of one tackle. It's tiptoeing down the sideline, cuts it back inside, all the way down to the 15 yard line. An incredible return. Winton would later find McBride for the early 7 to nothing lead. The near side going for McBride. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Delaware State. Morgan would soon answer with two consecutive scores of their own. In for the touchdown, Morgan State takes the lead. And that ball was up for grabs, but it was caught by Robert Surratt at the 45-yard line of Delaware State. As the game went on, Morgan found themselves in the fourth quarter with a 17-16 lead and looked to add on with this catch that put the Bears on the one-yard line. Inside the five, breaks the tackle and tiptoes out of bounds at the one-yard line. And what happened next? will be talked about for years to come. First and goal from the two. Give it to Anderson, diving forward, and he fumbles the football. Delaware State has it, and a wall of blockers coming the other way. It's Akeem Green with an escort. Selby's the last man to beat. Tiptoeing through, touchdown Delaware State. An incredible turn of events. Over 100 yards on the fumble return for Akeem Green. No flags on the field. Have we seen everything yet? Absolutely not. You're going to see coming right to your screen. Is that right there? Josh Pope pulls it out. Josh Pope pulls it out right there at the bottom of your screen. Pulled it right out. Most of Delaware State thinks the play's over. And we're off to the races with the Keem Green down the sideline with an entourage. Now I've seen it all. Now I've seen it all. Jackie Watkins trying to get the block. Now I've seen it all. 104. At least. Boy, we the end zone. The momentum from that play carried the Hornets in the fourth quarter and would later be enough to defeat Morgan State 25 to 17 and improve to six and one with another big test ahead with the dog pound in Orangeburg, South Carolina.